Yes, happiness is a science. Let's get this clear first. It's not a hit and miss affair. It's a perfectly scientific search by which you can find happiness. There are many views about happiness. You must have seen various people in this world who seem to have everything that one would think a human being needs. They have money. They have. Uh, they are popular. They have power. They are well known. Cannot sleep at night. Sleeplessness. Anxiety. So, happiness is not acquired either by gathering money or building up a reputation. I'm not saying these are all wrong things. In this world, we have to do all that with the understanding that this is not the sole criteria or this is not the path which should take us to ultimate happiness. There is a statement in the Vedas which says, Anantam Anandam Brahma. See, happiness is so uh, elusive that once in a way it comes and then it comes, of course. It's so elusive and we are so afraid that it will go away that we try to hold on to it as it comes. The very fact that you're trying to hold on to it and it's trying to escape from you, misery has begun. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm sure it's very simple. Uh, one day for no any reason whatsoever, I am sitting under a tree doing nothing and I suddenly feel, oh, I'm so happy. Now, this has come spontaneously. But then it's so rare that my mind begins to say that I have to hold on to this. I have to hold up. I can't sit under a tree all my life. I have to go. So the beginning of misery, unhappiness, begins when I want to hold on to it and it is trying to get away from me. When I try to hold on to it, it moves away. And I want to tell you another uh, little story to illustrate this. There was a man, well, I'm not uh, saying we shouldn't, he was an expert in uh, management. He uh, was walking along the village. When he saw an old man lying on a cot, incidentally, through Punjab. So he had just finished his work in the uh, fields and he was lying with one leg over the other on a charpai outside under the tree, kind of sunning himself. So this person went to him and he said, this guy is wasting time. Huh? How shall we make him productive? So he went to him and he said, sir, he said, whatever, he had to address him. He said, good morning, Sashrikal. Now, tell me, can you do, improve your life a bit? So he sat up, he said, okay, I'm listening. He said, can you do this? He said, okay, and then, then do this way. Okay, and then sell the land and do some, okay. And after all this, when you are fully done all this, you will grow and everything will become great and then you will be very happy. This guy told him, Sir, why are you disturbing me? I am already happy here, <laughs> lying on the charpai. What I am trying to say, that happiness is a state of mind. What you have and what you don't have does not play a great part I mean, it does play a little part, but it doesn't really play a great part in true happiness. It's a state of mind.